Hey, so we're here at Tacos Revolucion. It's Sunday here in Puerto Vallarta. I got the recommendation for this place from another vlog. Link in the description below. But we're waiting for our food. We're in the Old Town area, Zona Romantica. Zona Romantica, about a block away from the Malecon. So on Sunday, he was not feeling well for whatever reason. The previous day on Saturday, we went to the beach and um, I think our thinking that was that when he took a shower to rinse off and you know, the shower is right next to the beach. And we swam in the ocean, so I had salty mouth and it's all over. He may have ingested a ti tiny bits of um, that non-potable water on the beach to rinse off. But um, the next day, he wasn't feeling well. He had... The big D came down. Yeah, the, um, the runs. <laughs> but he was a trooper. He, you know, I said, hey, how are you feeling? And then um, there was still stuff on my list that we really hadn't gone to. So I, I thought like, you know, let's just go and see how you feel. He had taken some over-the-counter medication for it. We just went to Tacos Revolucion, mm -hmm. which is uh, one of, on one of my lists of taquerias to hit. So we ate there. He only had one taco. I had two. I had Eat the... tacos. No. Don't build the so, wall. Something like that. Anyway, and then so we were walking around, and then I said, you know, if you're not feeling well. I'm totally open to going back to the hotel and just chilling. But then that made him upset because he's not a buttercup. And that off that offer offended him. So I was like, okay, Mr. Not Buttercup. Uh, one of the things on my list is to hike the Cerro de la Cruz. Uh, the mirror door for the Cerro de la Cruz. So it's up there. Let's go. Uh, so off we went. I for, I was looking for the street from the Malecon that it connects that you can go directly from. So we walked a little bit from the south side of the Zona Romantica, crossing the river, um, and then we finally found the street. Some beautiful streets. On on our way, we did find the cathedral. And a little trick, old cities. The cathedrals are always built on a square or a park. It's just a trick. So if you're looking for a cathedral or or some big old thing like that, it's going to be usually in the center or close to the center in a park or in a square. After stopping at the cathedral, we continued our way to find the trail. What I loved about this part was we encountered lots of hidden gems in the charming streets off the main drag had colorful murals, interesting architecture, and color palettes indicative of the tropical climate and the rich festive culture. We find the street, go up the hill. Uh, it's a very steep climb. Um, for, there are stairs on uh, sidewalks and then right at the very, the final um, leg of this hike is just all stairs, really. There's no more, the street ends. So you have to take uh, so many flights of stairs. There was a funicular that they built to go up and down, but it looked like it hadn't <laughs> been used in many years if or ever. at all. <laughs> if ever. Um, but like, it's, it's doable, you know. Um, Anybody can do it, really. Just well, take your time. Not anybody yet. Yeah, make sure you take your time because it is a, a workout, a tough workout. And he was such a trooper because he was not feeling well. It was hot, middle of the day. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Then. I would not recommend. Two o'clock in the afternoon. 
that I think that was one of our, <laughs> our mistakes. But um, I thought that we were running out of time in general during this trip, and we may not be able to go back up there because our track record for this trip in the mornings was that we get up fairly late because of whatever activities we did at night the previous night. So I knew that the chances of us going to it the next day were very slim and it wanted to be true anyway. So we just went up on this hike. So really, they say it's a 360 degree view of the city. Puerto Vallarta, as you can see the oceans behind me in the city. And then on the other side is the cross and the mountains over there. And then the wave of Vallarta is way over here somewhere. And this is the observation deck. but it's a really steep hike to get here. A lot of stairs and um, steep streets. So be ready, doable. We recommend it to anybody who's going to it and it's free, which is the best price. Uh, just make sure you're ready to get a good workout. And take water with you. Lots of water for sure, because, you know, especially in a climate like this, you're gonna sweat just by breathing. <laughs> Anything to add more? Like how much you hated me and... No, no, no. I mean, that was... The, the, the hike up was very um, exhausting. I took a lot more stat, rest stops on the way up. Um, I realized, why well, I'm not in very good shape, but I also wasn't feeling well and I had been suffering with the D earlier and was still worried about that. Um, but I'd taken enough of the ammonium that I was also concerned about the other aspects of that. So, um, but no, it was, it was, it was good. The, 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 the cool down at the top, we were both soaked. Our clothes were soaked and I'm glad that we brought a change of clothes for later on. That was, you know, one of the insights in a, in a sweaty climate is always pack something to change into because you're just soaked and it can really ruin the rest of the day. Yeah, our plan was to not go back to the hotel to change for, uh, to meet no. with our, our dinner plans. Yeah, not another hour's round trip, hour plus round trip to the hotel. And then on the way down, so uh, we enjoyed the views from this place and on the way down we met this cute little cat. It was a one-eyed cat, super friendly. And then there was this guy that was doing his workout going running up and down the stairs and I thought, oh yeah, I asked him so if it, was, if it was his or not and it wasn't, but the guy wound up to be, his name was Scott and he as a part owner or oh. owner of El Santo Taco. It's a taqueria obviously in uh, the Zona Romantica. It's on uh, Basilio Badillo Street. Cafes Street, come check it out. Good tacos, good specials, and uh, a lot of variety of Mexican food and food bar also. So check it out. 
when you can. After the hike, we had dinner with his friend Christian, that who he's known for about a 20 long years. Time. Yeah, almost 20 years, or close yeah. to 20 years, probably 20 years. Yeah, someone I knew in uh, Long Beach, and uh, Christian is a native Mexican who then spent a good portion of his life growing up in Canada and then moved to Southern California and then back to Canada and then moved to Puerto Vallarta. He's not originally from Puerto Vallarta, he's originally from Acapulco, uh, but it was great to catch up with him. The last time I had seen Christian was probably 2010 or so. It was great to meet him, lots of energy, such a sweet person. Um, we had dinner at this place called Pal Mar, which is a seafood mm. restaurant. Really good. And I'm beginning to think that maybe <laughs> the tuna that I had there was the cause of my issues. Um, but anyway, and then we went to this cute little coffee shop slash art gallery slash bookstore for dessert. Okay, so we found a spot. <laughs> Oh, okay. Alto, alto. This is called a page in the sun. A page, a page in the sun. It's in Zona Romantica again, uh, close to the Malecon. This is the beginning of the Malecon yeah. over there. Oh uh, yeah. And here is a coffee shop combined with art and books. Oh, nice, nice books. Kind of like the library in Long Beach. Kind of. They have these books, but also art. Okay, let's go. And that was like really fun. Uh, the desserts were amazing, amazing. actually. Um, the coffee was great. Yeah, the desserts were really good. So it was it was a good night to end that day. After dessert, we walked Christian partway home through the length of the Malecon, enjoying the nighttime vibes and ocean breezes and looking at the artwork peppered throughout. This was part three of our Puerto Vallarta trip series. Please stay tuned for more. And if you like this video and want to continue rolling with us, please hit that subscribe button along with the bell icon for notifications for new content. Thanks for rolling with us. See you next time. Yeah.